Hi, it's Alaska Granny. It's an exciting day for me. The Anderson House Frontier Soup Company reached out to me and offered to send me some samples of their soup mixes so that I could make some videos and share it with the people who watch the Alaska Granny channel. And so the box came in the mail today. Look, it's even gift wrapped with tissue paper. How nice is that? They offered to send me three different varieties of soups and to send two each. And so that gives me the opportunity to prepare them six different ways. Anderson House Frontier Soups are versatile, so while they have a basic recipe on them, there's also variations and you can make it meet your tastes, your flavors, your desires, and also use the foods that you have on hand. So let's look in the box and you can see the packages are smaller than you might have imagined considering they make a full pot of soup. So you have to add some additional ingredients. The Frontier Soups include dehydrated vegetables, they include some dried beans, lots of flavorful spices, and they tend to be very natural. There's no added salt. A lot of the varieties of the Frontier Soup are vegan, they're non-GMO. Some of the Frontier Soups are even gluten-free, so they've really taken into account all of the special needs and desires of people with special dietary requirements or just the option of not having certain ingredients included in a mix. Let's look in the box. The three varieties of soups that I chose include the Arizona Sunset Enchilada Soup Mix, Thai Wai, is that how you pronounce it? Thai Wai Coconut Curry Soup Mix, and Florida Sunshine Red Pepper Corn Chowder Mix. I tried to choose a variety of mixes that would be completely different flavors so that I really have an idea of all of the different options and ways that you can make it. These are also soup mixes that I realized could easily be put together with prepper pantry ingredients. Yes, that's wonderful if you always can get the fresh ingredients that might need to go with this, but I was trying to find ways to put these together that could be in your pantry, pantry meals, in your food storage stockpile a meal in a bag so that you could always be able to pull this out and prepare a meal. So let's go ahead and look these over a little more closely. Let's look at the Arizona Sunset Enchilada Soup Mix. It's gluten free, there's nothing artificial, no added salt. It's made in minutes and look at all of the ingredients and the spices. It just looks delicious and very flavorful. I like that these are verified non-GMO. Let's look up close at the nutritional facts. There are eight servings per container at 170 calories per serving, five grams of fat, 1,000 milligrams of sodium, and 16 grams of protein. So if we look at the actual mix, the sodium count is only 10 milligrams, but as prepared would be 1,000 milligrams per serving. So that's where you want to be careful. If you don't want added sodium, this would be where you would choose to add low sodium options, such as your chicken broth. How do you make the basic recipe for Arizona Sunset Enchilada Soup Mix? You need six cups of chicken broth, two cups of cut up chicken, salsa verde or green chili enchilada sauce, and a cup of shredded cheese. You optionally could add some sour cream or a squeeze of lime. Ooh, that would make it extra delicious. The Frontier Soup Arizona Sunset Enchilada Soup Mix includes navy beans, bell peppers, cornmeal, sweet potato, onion, corn, ancho chili, paprika, cumin, garlic, oregano, and coriander. Today I'm going to prepare the Frontier Soup Arizona Sunset Enchilada Soup Mix. I like to store broth based simply because cans and cartons of chicken broth, they take up too much space in my small pantry. Okay, I need my six cups of water. Three tablespoons of bouillon mix is equivalent to the six cups of broth. Now we want to bring this to a boil before we add the other ingredients. The broth is boiling, so we're going to stir in the soup mix, the can of chicken, and a half of this jar, which would equal one cup of green salsa. We're going to put on the lid and let our soup simmer for 25 minutes. I wish you could smell this. 
Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Look at this nice hearty soup. And it has nice big pieces of chicken. A very savory broth. When I make soup mixes, I like to make sure that the beans and the vegetables are soft so that I know that it's actually finished cooking. Oh yeah, they're done. Oh, this is good. Look how delicious. Luckily, I have some shredded cheese because that certainly makes it delicious. A savory bowl of Anderson House Frontier Soup Arizona Sunset Enchilada Soup Mix. Thank you to Frontier Soups for sending me some samples of your delicious soup mixes. I've never heard of this company before. It's based in Illinois, so I'm not really sure if the products are available wherever you live, but you definitely want to check them out. These are absolutely delicious. I am certainly going to buy more of these, and I recommend that you get some too. This has turned out to be one of the favorite soups I've ever had before, and that's saying a lot. Check out the Frontier Soups and really try this enchilada soup mix. It is good. Oh, look at the melted cheese. It's hot. Mm. Mm. Seriously, this is delicious. Mm. This soup is so good. You just got to try it. I hope you'll like my video, share my video, and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.